Okay, ladies, I was going to write a post about what, just in my opinion, um, what goes into these trashy journals. I know I had made a post the other day and quite a few people were commenting, which I really appreciated because it helps us see where everybody's head is at on this subject. Um, so I was going to post, but it was just, I thought it was going to get too lengthy and too wordy. So I thought, you know, showing what um, I consider to be trashy junk journals would be a little more effective than talking about it. Now, these are just um, some examples, and again, this is just my personal opinion. You may have your own opinion. This just happens to be mine. For me, when I think of these trashy journals that we do here in this group, I think of things that their original intended use has already ended. And if we did not repurpose it into something else, that its inevitability would be going into the trash. So like someone commented, you know, we're not dumpster diving and getting things out of the trash, even though I have done that on occasion. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about things that in our everyday life, we have used it for an intended purpose. And now, you know, it's over. A perfect example is a calendar. When the year is over, it still looks great. You know, most of us don't even write in our calendars. Um, the wall calendars, you know, they're there, or we buy them and we forget to use them, and the year is over by the time we remember we had it, so its intended purpose is over. The year is over, you can't use that calendar for its original purpose, so you either, if you're not a crafter, you'd probably throw it away, if you're a crafter, you keep it. So that to me is an example of something that still is pristine, it's pretty, it's colorful, yet I would consider that part of uh, the supplies that we would put into a um, trashy slash recycled journal. So having said that, um, here is an example. Like for instance, I save all the envelopes I get from friends or from swaps or whatever, and a lot of uh, individuals like to pretty up their envelopes, so they're already pretty. And so I put them together, and then like, for instance, this one, it is 100% recycled. Uh, it's things that came from magazines, junk mail, uh, regular mail, um, little things that I just think is colorful, and I decide to keep. And so this is an example of the... Uh, a journal that yes its intended use of all these items in here are over yet I put them together and I don't think it looks trashy I think it looks kind of cute <laughs> another example I had lots I had saved up a lot of the envelopes and here's another one that I did exactly the same way I used all my envelopes in addition to other things that I just saw in magazines or wherever that I thought was interesting or colorful and I cut them out and put them in here. Now this one's a little bit different in that my pages I consider to be trash because these were made out of those monthly magazines that are free at different stands, I get them at the at the library and they come out once a month and it talks about your community. So after the month, you know, all those activities are over, I consider those to be trash. And I tear up the pages and I sew them together, color them, make little pockets, and then the same type of things that I put in here, I put in here. Things that have come in the mail, things that um, I find in magazines, newspapers, books, whatever I find, I collect them. I have a, several boxes full of this junk, 
and I glue them in. Again, this particular book is what I would consider um, probably 99.9% .9 recycled stuff because they came out of things that other people would be putting into the trash. Again, I don't think it looks trashy. I think it looks cute and it's colorful. And maybe the average person that isn't into this kind of art wouldn't even know that this is all recycled. Another way that I do this uh, is this particular one was made out of manila, no, yeah, uh, excuse me, these were made out of files, manila files, and they were, had been used, they were written all up, so I tore them in half, painted them, and then bound them, and then the same way. I used this for all kinds of stuff. Again, all of this stuff in here is also uh, recycled or came in the mail. I also used it um, to doodle in and to glue in and to <laughs> draw in. It's just a little bit of everything that's in this particular uh, journal. Again, this I would consider a trashy slash um, recycled journal because nothing in here is uh, was bought to do anything in particular with. It all comes out of magazines <laughs> or I drew. So this I would also include in the list. I'm just trying to show there's such a variety of what can be considered these trashy journals. This particular one, as you can tell, was made with a chip bag, obviously, trash. And everything in here also is trash. This particular one, it's a little more obvious where the trash all came from. The other one's not so obvious. Here it's obviously just some kind of deli paper and so on and so forth. But still, it's I try to make it colorful. I try to make it interesting. I just don't get a bunch of trash and throw it together and hope for the best. There's still rhyme or reason when you put your trash together because obviously you're trying to convey artistically um, what you can do with the supplies. And so this is another example of what you can do with recycled items that you may have around. Okay, here's another one that also is full of recycled. There's not too much in this one. I, I think this one's Oh, no, I think this one does have more stuff. There's another one that's kind of empty. But um, you can see the same idea. This also, these pages were from the same magazines that I referred to earlier. And I just paint them up, and that's what I used as the base for this particular, for this particular one. There's still a lot of pages that I can still work on in here, but you can see how it started off and how I tried to decorate it already. So there's that one. This one is also made from trash. I really haven't done too much in this one. I've been busy with my other journals, but also this is made with trash. This is an envelope. This is the end of uh, some kind of beer holder. And um, and you can see it's very obvious <laughs> where all the trash is. And so this hasn't been covered up yet. So you can really see um, the guts of this before it's um, decorated and turned into something. So, and everything in here, I mean everything in here, is what I would call trash. 
and then it will get pretty up like the rest of them did <laughs> eventually. Here's another one. This cover was also a envelope that somebody had sent me. And everything in here is also recycled. Came out of other magazines. And then I just did gluing and painting. That's kind of my specialty. <laughs> Glue and paint. Glue and paint. Make it bright. And again, this is um, all trash. The pages were from different kinds of uh, books or magazines that were being tossed out. So I put them together and put some color on them. Now this one, I haven't done anything to it. And again, this one is trash. This is packaging from the um, produce that I like to buy. And this is the box that, the big box at the store that the produce is in. And so every time I go, I look for an empty one because I think he's so cute. <laughs> and then all of this here is also um, some sort of packaging, but it hasn't been, um, I haven't done anything with this particular one yet. And some scraps of uh, paper that I had. And hit this. So this is just another way that you can recycle your trash. Okay, that's another way. I let's see what else do I have here? I love doing I love doing glue books. I did these before I even knew what a glue book was. <laughs> but I did all of these based on color. I have some other videos that have the flip through for these. But um, it's just an example of taking, taking again what I would consider is stuff that comes in the mail. You can probably recognize all this stuff that's in here. Out of magazines. So a question was brought up about magazines. Well, I get most of my stuff from magazines. I have no problem with magazines. I think the problem comes in, obviously when you're doing your own, you can put whatever you want into it. But when we're doing the swaps, like when we're doing the flowish swaps, and I guess, I'm just guessing, that some people are just tearing any old page out of the magazine, whether it has character or color or, or something, and just using it as filler to make these flowish magazines. And that's not the intent. The intent is to exchange interesting things that we have. We're supposed to be trading our little treasures and if our little treasures are from magazines or packaging or whatever it is that's what we would share but again it needs to have some kind of character or some kind of interest not just trash for the sake of it being trash and I think that might be where the confusion might come in is that the things that when it comes to our swaps they have to be things that are interesting and colorful, not just throw something together for the sake of throwing something together and getting something in return. Uh, we're, it's supposed to be an expression of us artistically. And um, that may be falling short with very, very few. But I think the fact that so many in our group are so creative and so interesting in the way that they put their things together that it becomes very obvious um, when someone has not put any thought into maybe what they are swapping with someone. So I think that might be the, the concern or controversy, whatever word you want to use about what does and does not go into these um, these journals. 
So I hope that kind of explains. Um, now the ones I just showed you as an example, these that I showed you, these are, you know, a hundred percent recycled. Now remember, the, um, the things that we compost, usually it says 50 percent. So there could be other things in these journals that are not recyclable, you know, they might be paper you bought or a tag that you bought or you know whatever it is that you put in there it, it there's going to most people are going to have something in there that isn't recyclable that you purchased for instance I made um, let me put this back. I made this little thing now it started off like this brand new bought it wasn't recycled I bought it a whole 50 cents but Except for this, this is stuff that I had. I didn't go buy it, but you know it was still usable for its intended purpose, but I put it there. But except for that, everything else in here that I did, it is, you know, recycled little pieces of paper and, you know, little things I had left over and everything just got glued into this little book and I ended up following a little theme, a vintage theme, and that's that. But I would still, you know, if someone posted something they did with this little book like this, I would still consider this very acceptable in the group because it's obviously more than 50%. I mean, this was bought, but everything else on the pages was not. So, um, so again, this is what I would call the trashy journal for our group. And it's still cute. It doesn't smell like cucumbers. Let's see, what else do I have as an example? Uh, for instance, this. I use this, the different fabrics that I have. Um, I don't buy any of this. Most of the stuff that I have, I get, I look, when I go to garage sales, for some reason around here, clothing does not go. So they're very, very, very cheap in garage sales. So I look for skirts or blouses that have silk or satin or anything shiny and pretty. And I'll buy them. And I'll, you know, they sell them 25 cents, 50 cents. I bring them home. I shred them. To me, this is recycled. You know, obviously this, <laughs> this is not wearable anymore. And probably if I didn't pay 25 cents when the garage sale was over, it would probably be in the trash. So this is all part. Um, packaging, the colorful packaging, you know, all stuff like that. Uh, let me see. For instance, there's that place I've told you guys about where they just put stuff out in this bin for free. It's it's done its purpose, and if you, if it doesn't go, it gets end up thrown in the trash the next trash cycle. Well, they had all these. Now they're brand new. Um, but their purpose is over, 2016, brand new, but if I tore these pages out and put them in a journal or put it in a project, trash, you can't use 2016 anymore, so I would consider this also trash. Now, I think a good example of combining um, our trash and making them pretty also is this that I got, this was the, the insert. I should say the signature that I got for the uh, continent swap um, in the, uh, this was for the United States. And Gretchen made this. And I know Gretchen had made a comment about, well, maybe she needs some clarification. No, she needs no clarification because she did a perfect job. This is what she did. She combined um, bits and pieces of ephemera, old things that she found things that obviously nobody cared about enough to keep because they sold them or threw them or they're deceased and they ended up out there to purchase or to swap and she did this beautiful job of incorporating things that she's collected with other little tidbits and created this beautiful journal and I checked it out before I started the video to see what I could spy that was actually purchased or somebody had purchased 
that is not um, old ephemera. But like for instance, this is new. Big deal. It's new. It's still, you know, that's not 50% of her whole project. Um, and even though this is off a new product, it's still sal it's still uh, trash because that's what ran around, went, excuse me, went around uh, this little journal that was being sold at Michael's. And um, I recognized that. And that that's perfect. And through this whole thing, um, she did a perfect example of blending um, old recyclable item, items what's wrong with my mouth today and making it just gorgeous so no Gretchen you do not need a clarification you are the example of what we are talking about so I would just encourage you that just look at your stash when it comes to swaps, don't give people the stuff that you don't want anymore. Give people the stuff that you've been hoarding, that you have never wanted to get rid of, that you've never even wanted to use because it's so special to you. And if it's still sitting there after a year, two years, three years, you're probably not going to use it. But share it with other people that have the same love for this that you do. And I'm sure that either they will sit and look at it for the next few years and treasure it, or they'll incorporate it you know, into their projects. And when it comes to posting, again, as long as it's 50%, it's fine. It's just that when people put up, um, they're tricky. Uh, people are tricky, and I know all their tricks, and some people I let them get away with their tricks, and some I don't. <laughs> some are less obvious, and some I really like it. I go, oh, they're pretty tricky. I like that. I'll let her get away with that. But, you know, when you when when people will post something, it's obvious that their only reason for posting it in my group is that they want you to go to their youtube channel because at that point then you find out that they sell things and then you get to see the link to the selling of their items otherwise they would have never posted their video in our group because they never comment they never swap they never do anything they just want you they just use our group use me basically to get them um to their channel and if I like their stuff, you know, I, I let it go. <laughs> I say, okay, you know, more power to you. You were kind of tricky, but that's okay. I admire that. Um, but if their stuff is just 100% um, bought at Michael's, put together, and sell in a journal, I delete their post because that's not what we're about. So um, feel free to post your your items on there um, I would say 99.9% .9 of all you guys are doing just wonderful um, whether it's the posting of your creations or in the swaps in the group uh, but just be mindful that just because we were used the word trash and recycle that does not mean junk there's a difference junky 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 stuff <laughs> that you know even us would not pick out of the trash to to recycle so just keep that in mind that we are making art we are making pretty things out of the things that we trade with one another and we want these to be little special treasures that we have and don't lose sight of the recycle aspect of things that you have and um, and and look at things differently. Don't don't uh, just assume that you can't recycle that and make it into something pretty. I encourage all of you that I know we have a lot of looky loos that hang out for inspiration and enjoy seeing what everybody is doing, and we really really like that and appreciate that you're there. But I hope that you can get the courage to maybe try something that you see in the group 
and share it with us because every time we get a new person that shares it's always wonderful because it's so it's it's um new blood from it and seeing things in a new perspective and it's really really fun to see what you what you guys come up with so and remember it doesn't have to be paper products it doesn't have to be journals anything that you are recycling any form of art that you have used something to recycle um, uh, that's what we're about obviously right now the trend are the journals but there's a lot of other artists out there that do so so much in recycling so please do if if you're one of those that don't tend to do journals but do other forms of recyclable art please please post um, here in the group um, because there's probably more people like you there than you know and then they will be encouraged to do the same alrighty so I hope that answers any questions you might have again this is my opinion <laughs> you may have a different perspective of what trash is or what recycling is but that is um, the uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of when I put the group together that definition of trash and recycle was behind me creating the group so that'll give you an idea of the direction that I thought and hope that the group will continue to go in so again get all your trash together make your journals make uh, cards you know make frames for mirrors <laughs> out of bottle caps, whatever it is you do, please share it with us so that we can all get inspired um, to try something new and different and get inspired by all of the wonderful work that you artists do. Thanks a lot for listening to me ramble.